Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to today's video. Finally today I am getting to work on my pumpkin patch. Now ever since they released the fall items I have been wanting to make a pumpkin patch like most people but I've just been procrastinating it because I know that I wanted to make it kind of a bigger area on my island so today it's finally happening. Let me show you the area that we're working with. We've got a mostly empty space. This is to the left of my giant lake, but yeah, I got a few villager houses and not much going on up here in this area. Before we get into today's video, I want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor. Grammarly is a digital writing assistant that you can easily add to your browser with just a few clicks. Grammarly's premium version can help you keep your writing clear and concise and even give you vocabulary suggestions. Whether you use it for work, for school, or for your creative hobbies, Grammarly is a fantastic tool. Their Clarity AI helps me out when I'm drafting video scripts by suggesting ways to cut down on unnecessary words and phrases so I sound clearer. When I'm replying to emails, Grammarly's vocabulary suggestions help expand my vocabulary and help my bland sentences become more memorable. And if you're using Grammarly Premium for schoolwork, their plagiarism detector checks your writing across 16 billion web pages so you can feel confident that your paper is your own. If you're interested in Grammarly or interested in upgrading to their premium version, be sure to use my link down in the description below, grammarly.com slash froggycrossing. With that link, you can sign up for a free account and get 20% off of Grammarly Premium. Once again, the link is in the description below and thank you so much to Grammarly for sponsoring this video. So first I was just gonna move Kiki's house and only Kiki's house cause I'm actually gonna leave Tipper's house there in that area. So let me tell you what I've been envisioning for this pumpkin patch all this time that I've had to complete it, um, most of the month of October. So I have been, thinking about it, of course, and I've been trying to plan stuff in my head, didn't do a great job of that, but it still came out good. But anyways, I was imagining kind of a foresty area. I've been really digging the forests and trees and stuff, all that jazz on my island. So this area was kind of looking like a little too flat for me. So right behind Tipper's house, which like I said, is incorporated into this, um, pumpkin patch because I don't know tippers a cow cows live on farms pumpkin patch is like kind of like a farm thing you get the reasoning you get it so <laughs> right behind her house I was just putting up some cliffs to add a little bit of volume and body and make it less flat like a pancake you know so that's pretty self-explanatory um, I ended up not making it this awkward shape you'll see that like two block wide little skinny part there and going behind her house yeah that was that was not it so i was imagining like a foresty kind of thing um honestly like i wasn't really planning that much out it's really difficult for me to work with the fall stuff because my island is very core themed kind of if case you didn't know um I think my style of decorating is more like cottage core, but I just use fairy core kind of colors and more fairy core um, items such as the mush lamps and star clocks and stuff like that. So to make a fairy core ish pumpkin patch is like difficult. I can't use orange. Well, I could, but I don't like orange myself anyway, so I wasn't going to use orange. So as you can see, I have like that little patch of pumpkins that I was growing because I needed more white ones because those are like the hardest ones to get for some reason. Um, yeah, I was just going to use a bunch of white ones and try to do a lot of white furniture because white's pretty universal. Um, it can really go with any theme that you're working for. So I usually tend to do white furniture on my island and I do incorporate a little bit of browns because I have to because some items that I want to use can't be customized to be white. So yeah, I only used uh, white pumpkins in this pumpkin patch, which was a struggle a little bit. You know, it doesn't look the most conventional, but still looks cute. Still looks cute. So yeah, I shaved off those cliff areas and I wanted to add some more trees instead because I felt like it was looking a little bit awkward, but it was a good choice in the end. I'm glad that I did that. And then I went ahead and I started adding some sprouts, uh, tree saplings all around because I wanted some more trees. Like I said, I wanted like a foresty vibe in the back. And uh, I still don't know what I'm doing to the left side of this whole pumpkin patch area so just ignore everything like surrounding the immediate area <laughs> because i still don't have it figured out yet so 
I started off with this spooky arch because I knew that I wanted to have a grand sort of entrance leading up into this pumpkin patch and I finally got to use my pumpkin patch sign. Um, if you want any of the design codes that I use in this video, I have a design code video where I walk through all of the codes that I use, like every all 50, every single one. So I will link that below for you. And uh, yeah, I wasn't sure what to do with the path because if you know the paths that I have, I have like the nine tile path that's like all squiggly and I didn't want to really do that. I wanted to keep this a little more simple path wise. So I just decided to use the in-game path to use that stone for once. Wow, <laughs> what a what a change. I never used that, but it was it was time for me to step out of my comfort zone and to use something different. So yeah, added a little garden wagon because I thought it was really cute, like wagons, uh, hay rides pumpkin patches fall you, you get you get the vibe you get the vibe but i colored it fairy core colors because it has to match <laughs> so in this little awkward gap um i do put a silo which is real cute really like it right next to tipper's house so uh she has some hay to eat and then uh, i time traveled uh so i could let those trees grow and then here i am just adding like a bunch more little decorations to the entrance there of course had to include the jail bars classic and uh, some little fence pieces make it real cute and then i went ahead and started marking out our little pumpkin patch farmy areas um if you haven't seen my micro mush farm video definitely check it out but in that i say that i've been loving little farms and i still do i love micro farms like in animal crossing so i know i wanted to do a big pumpkin patch because i I, ju I just thought that idea was cute, like a grand pumpkin patch, but I also wanted like a smaller one because I love like multiple little farms instead of just one like big one, like one big square one. I think that's too boring for my island. So I decided to do two pumpkin patch areas. I know, I know, I'm going, I'm going a little wild, but it, com it comes out good, trust me. So this is the smaller area and I of course do the little thing where I just use alternating colors of dirt to create rows that are right next to each other. I love to do that. Putting some custom designs underneath the fences, add some little pizzazz, add some little sparklies. And then I also knew that I wanted to create a pumpkin carving station because I just thought that was the cutest thing ever and I've seen some people do it. So I did use this picture for inspiration. I did not really come up with this table setup. So credit to this person. I will link their Twitter as well. I believe I saw their Twitter. And uh, yeah, it's just a super cute picture. Of course, I used my own colors and I kind of incorporated some other elements into it to uh, kind of make it my own style. But yeah, our little uh, pumpkin carving station, really, really cute. And uh, over over time in this video, I add a bit more to it. I was just kind of all over the place with this build. I would go from one area to the next and be like, oh wait, no, I wanna work on this. And then I wanna work on this. And it was, it was a little, like I said, all over the place for me, <laughs> but um, it came out good. That's, that's just how it be sometimes. Sometimes that's just how the process goes, so. Yeah, added a little stool, added some custom designs underneath, and then I knew I wanted to put the bigger pumpkin patch area right beneath this, so I added like this little stone path kind of like as a divider between the two of them, and then here we go, go into town with the fences. Um, used barbed wire fence as opposed to the country fence, just to mix it up a little bit. I think this fence is like not too invasive. I don't know how to explain it. It's like skinny, you know, because it just has the little wires. You can see a lot through it. It doesn't take up so much space. It's not as bulky as like the stone fencing. So I really like the barbed wire fence and both this fence and the, uh, oh my God, what's it called? Country fence, <laughs> how could I forget? Uh, are both really like cottage core, but Nintendo hasn't given us a white fence yet, which I'm so mad about. Where is the white fence, Nintendo? Like where is the white picket fence? I'm, I'm not asking anymore. So uh, yeah, just went ahead and added some little custom designs underneath all of the little, well not all of the fence posts, some of them, because I didn't want to go too overboard, I'm trying to scale back with the custom designs with the little flowers, because I'm addicted. And then going ahead and adding the rows, super simple. Um, I decided to keep this one more rectangular and big, 
uh you know how earlier i was saying i think that's too boring for my island yeah i did it anyway <laughs> um but i it, i can excuse it because once you see how i decorate the inside of it you're gonna be you're gonna be like wow raven you did a really good job and i'll be like thank you thank you very much and you'll be like you're welcome you deserve it you worked really hard on it and i was like yeah yeah i spent a lot of hours doing this so yeah that's exactly how the conversation would go anyway added some some hay uh hay beds hay bales yeah because it's not a farm unless you got hay i got the silo you gotta put the hay in it and then completing this little stone path right here i always struggle with the stones i feel like now that i uh took away one of the stones because i used to have four different s stepping stone designs now i only have three because i was like why do i need four but i have three now and i'm like wait i kind of want four so it's like a struggle but i may do and uh yeah just like a little path leading outside of it so i don't know where that leads yet like i said ignore everything to the left to the left area it's still a mess over there ignore those purple signs it's hyacinths don't look at them just don't and then uh the first decoration that goes inside of the little pumpkin patch area that little scarecrow and then adding a tree. I wish they made the um, spooky decorations, like the white uh, colored ones. I wish they made them more white and less gray. Like they're cute, but I know they're supposed to be spooky. That's why they're like like dark gray and borderline black. But uh, they just they just don't look cute next to something that's all white, like the house, like Tipper's house. So <laughs> I'm like, please, can you just make them cuter for us that have like cutesy islands? But I understand they're spooky items. It's just me complaining, being a little baby. And then I wanted to put this little lantern like sticking out onto the path, all spooky and cute like. So after fiddling it with it for a bit, I managed to do that and it looks real nice. And then I added the piece that finishes off that entrance area, the little lantern set. Oh, it just looks so cute. I think the entrance area is my favorite area. Not gonna lie, it looks so good. <laughs> and uh, I actually, funny story, I did not have a lot of white uh, pumpkins or white pumpkin plants. I had very few and um, I was too lazy to time travel more to like grow more so I really made do with what I had I you will see so um, I wanted to make this really interesting like not just straight pumpkins I wanted overgrown flowers I wanted weeds I wanted dropped pumpkins I wanted um, pumpkin like jack-o-lanterns but turned around like the, the spooky lanterns but just turned around so they look like bigger pumpkins I wanted, you know, the the watering can. I wanted like a bunch of different stuff, like kind of like an overgrown farm, not exactly overgrown because I don't want it to be like abandoned. The rest of it, the rest of the area is very manicured and uh, very purposeful. So I didn't want to give it an abandoned feel. It might have that, which is fine, but <laughs> I was aiming for r rustic. We'll say rustic. That's what I'm going for. Cottagecore? I guess cottage core. <laughs> so as you can see, um, I am adding flowers. I'm adding like the mums. I'm adding hyacinths. I'm adding weeds. I'm doing the dropped um, pumpkins and little watering can. So this is like half me wanting to be creative and half me not having a lot of white pumpkin plants to plant. <laughs> so when you are struggling, sometimes ingenuity happens you know i don't know if that's the right word but sometimes you get creative in times of crisis not that this was this much that much of a crisis i was just kind of lazy so is there a quote about being lazy but also being smart i'm sure there is that's that's me <laughs> is it is it work smarter not harder maybe even though i feel like this was kind of more work for me to do than just time traveling to get more but who knows who knows anyways <laughs> it does look visually very interesting and i'm very glad that i went this route instead of just doing like all pumpkins across the board i think this makes it a lot more interesting so i'd recommend you do that for not even just pumpkins for any little farm that you have for mushroom farms watermelon farms cauliflower farms aka mum cushion farms 
Um, mix in some flowers, some of the more natural looking flowers, I would say. I would say like white mums uh, are the best ones, green mums, even though I don't like mums, but what can I- what can I say? What can I say? I- I use them all over the place here, so I- I guess I don't hate them that much. I did want to try to include pink flowers instead of white flowers, and I did put down one pink hyacinth in the beginning when I was, um, starting to add stuff to the little farms, but it just looked weird and out of place. The white flowers just go so much better with the white pumpkins, of course. And uh, the green flowers, the green mums, look fine too, so I guess pink is too unnatural for the farm area, but I do bring in a little bit of pink, I think, later on with like a star clock and a few of the custom designs that I put down, because after all, still love pink. It's still fairy core, you know, this is- this whole area looks a little cottage core, little, little cottage core to me, you know, like, like a cleaner cottage core, so I'm trying trying to bring it back to fairy core it's really difficult <laughs> it's really difficult but i really tried i really tried and i tried to also not have too much white because especially in the pumpkin carving station uh it's like very white back there there's a lot of white items and it's a little like too washed out again it's hard but <laughs> i wish there was like um i don't know like pink colored birch tables or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, just pink flowers were not the way to go, even though I wanted to do that to incorporate more pink. So it's not just like straight cottage core. Because me looking at this, I'm like, wow, this is just cottage core. Why don't I just do cottage core instead? <laughs> like, it's so hard. But anyways, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully the little um, additions I make later also add to the fairy core uh style aesthetic hopefully brings it back i do add those pink hyacinths uh in other places later so still get to use them still get to uh add some pink like i like i love to and uh adding some more custom designs underneath of things as usual What else am I doing here? I'm adding the straw fencing because I think that's really cute to add in a farm. I don't like using the straw fencing as an actual fence. I don't like it, it's my least favorite fence. But putting just like one fence down, one little fence, I'm like, okay, I'll tolerate you. You can you can stay, you're invited, it's fine. You're uh, it's acceptable. So <laughs> I think that's uh, fine. So yeah, here I go, adding some star clocks, hopefully. Uh, uh, fairy core? Anyone? Yeah? <laughs> and uh, adding this little stone circle thing. I always add that in places where I don't know what else to put and it's kind of like an awkward empty-ish space and I just like throw that there. I'm like, here you go. Take it. Now it's better. <laughs> and then next I wanted to decorate this little area up here. Of course, you know, just add some little extra elements up here. Almost forgot about it, not gonna lie, but wanted to make the whole area look complete, so I just did my best. I just, I honestly just like slapped down whatever. So that meant a Nova, Nova light and some pink flowers and log stakes, apparently. There we go. That's, that's all you need. <laughs> and like I said, um, I was kind of using like a lot of white items, so it was getting a little overwhelmingly white. So I did use green mush lamps, which I like never use because I'm like, eh, I don't really like the green mush lamps, but I use them anyway. Just what is it with me today? I'm using stuff that I don't even <laughs> usually like to use. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta be, you gotta be different, you know? You gotta change it up. And uh, added some... Uh, little leaf piles to the ground make it really cute and added some butterfly models for that other fairy core element hopefully that also helps uh, especially love the cherry blossom petal pile that is so cute I wish I had more of those I wish I had more cherry blossoms and then also almost forgot about this little nugget area up here but finally remembered it 
and struggled so much with putting stuff down. Why does this game hate me? I just wanted to push, put down a freaking mushroom. So finally was able to. And wow, yeah, that's really all I put there. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> that's all you need apparently. So yeah, um, that was pretty much it in the farm area. I know that I put an extra tree right here because I felt like it was looking a little empty on that left side. And then I go ahead and pick up that bamboo tree because it was kind of in the way. And yeah, let's take a look together at the final thing. Once we walk past our adorable entrance, we can see our little pumpkin patches, our biggest one to the left. We've got so much going on. It's so interesting to look at. Lots of pumpkins, lots of flowers and little spooky lanterns doubling as bigger pumpkins. And then if we go over to the right side, we've got our little mini patch, our junior patch. Same sort of feel, same sort of vibe, super cute. And then we've got our pumpkin carving station. We can carve jack-o'-lanterns to our heart's content. And uh, if we go up, we've got Tipper's house. I guess she manages the pumpkin patch area. And yeah, she's got all she needs up there. So that's, that's pretty much it. Here are this week's fan art submissions. Oh my goodness. These are so freaking cute, you guys. Thank you so, so much for submitting. And if you would like to submit your own fan art, there is a Google form that you can submit to, a link below in the description. Thank you guys again so much for submitting. Ah, just beautiful. Chef's kiss. Mwah. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I'm so sorry it took me so long to make this video. I know it's almost the end of October, but yeah, hopefully you find some inspiration anyway. I really, really appreciate it if you watched all the way to the end of this video. Don't forget, I have merch out that you can go and snag if you're interested in that. I have a super cool Discord if you would like to come and chat with us and all my social medias are linked below. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one.